In this video, we're saving some bees from underneath an old cupboard. So what the smoke does, there's two things it does. The one is it makes them think that there's a, a fire. Yeah. And so what they do is they go onto the nest and they start collecting resources mm -hmm. in case they have to move hive. The other thing it does is it masks pheromones. So if the bees do tend to start stinging, the, the pheromone that gets released is like a banana smell. The pheromone gets masked. So I'm just going to go on to red light now. Okay. Um, just uh, the red light doesn't, it, it tends to not upset them as yeah, much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, it's not too big. Yeah, that's so that, that the few bees that are on there can hopefully crawl across. But they've built a, a decent amount of comb. Okay. So there you go. Yep. Looks pretty good. So if I'm, if I'm in this corner, I should be okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, as long as my light's not shining on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So I don't know if you can see the side. Mm -hmm. I'm explaining it to you because this will help you with your heart. Yeah. yeah, so you see there in the middle there, mm -hmm. this capped piece mm -hmm. that's um, all brood. That's okay. that's uh, lava now that's been capped and pupating, mm -hmm. and yeah, within a couple of days, the, the new bees will come out. Yeah, and I and I, I, I think there's probably about three pieces of comb, mm -hmm. nice, decent size. And um, there'll probably be um, eggs and lava on every piece because a colony that's landed like this, mm -hmm. the primary objective is to get the queen laying as quickly as possible because that's the sustainability. Yeah. I've just got to decide now if I'm going to vacuum or if I'm going to um, if I'm going to scoop them out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I actually think I'm going to try and do this one without the vacuum. Mm. These guys are so nice and calm. It's actually amazing. It's nice to work with a colony like this. It's a little bit soft to come. Mm -hmm. uh, bent in my, in my hand. Mm -hmm. hey? Yeah, it's just because it's new as well. Mm -hmm. What's nice about doing the removal this way is the bees get onto the comb mm -hmm. a lot quicker. Whereas when we do it with um, the vacuum, oh, right. the brood stands, to, you know, while we get to the apiary. Mm -hmm. And that's not great for the brood because the brood needs a, a high temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, nesting eggs basically, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it was three pieces of comb, that's what I, 
I estimated. I might have to leave this box here. Come and fetch it tomorrow night. Um, just because I've upset them so much that they're flying around. Yeah. But if I get the queen in the box with the comb, and I, we leave the box on top here, they'll all go into the box. Yeah. if she just sort of scurries across from one clump to the other and then we see her it would be very helpful she generally doesn't stand still okay. there I find her yeah. Yeah. she moves quickly though so we need to make sure we don't lose her right there in the corner she was walking that direction so when I catch her I'm gonna leave the box here mm -hmm. just leave it up here with mm -hmm. her in the clip inside yeah then the rest of the colony during the night and okay. tomorrow we'll move in there yeah. definitely saw her but there was too many bees in that corner and she was right underneath him She's got to be in the box now. Mm -hmm. She has to be now, because I don't see her anywhere else. Cool, man. So no if you leave, leave we'll just leave the box here. Yeah. yeah. The comb's all in the box. So mm -hmm. The what we know is they'll they'll recongregate overnight, yeah. and then they'll figure it out. 
If you love our videos, then I recommend you take a look at this popular bee removal we did recently. And then I'll just come pick this bottle tomorrow, tomorrow night. If, if you still feel like they're a bit active tomorrow night and haven't worked it out, then we can leave it for another night. Yeah,